10 Signs You're Eating Too Much Sugar or Processed Carbohydrates This video is for educational purposes only and is no substitute for medical advice. Sign number 1, Midday Slump A common indicator of high sugar intake is experiencing fatigue and drowsiness between 1 to 3 p.m. Consuming excessive sugar or starch in the morning or the afternoon, can lead to a spike in blood glucose levels. Insulin in your blood then pushes these blood sugars down too sharply, causing you to have low blood sugars, and this makes you feel very tired, brain foggy and drowsy in the afternoon. Sign number 2, Constant Thirsty Experiencing persistent thirst, even after adequate water intake, can be a significant indicator of high blood sugar levels. When blood sugar levels are elevated, the kidneys work overtime to filter out the excess glucose. This process requires additional water, leading to increased urination. Elevated glucose levels can increase the osmolarity of the blood, which stimulates thirst receptors in the brain, further prompting the need to drink more fluids. Sign number 3, Collagen Loss If you notice sagging skin and wrinkles, this may be caused by high blood sugars and eating too many processed carbohydrates. When sugar levels in the bloodstream are high, a process called glycation occurs. The extra sugar in your blood is binding to the proteins in your skin, which can damage collagen fibers, making them less elastic and more prone to breakdown. High sugar intake can interfere with the absorption of vitamin C also, a crucial nutrient for collagen synthesis. Sign number 4, Blurry Vision Experiencing blurry vision can be a common symptom of elevated blood sugar levels, particularly in individuals with diabetes or prediabetes. High glucose levels in the blood can cause fluid to be pulled from the lens of the eye, leading to swelling. This alteration can change the shape of the lens, impairing its ability to focus light properly on the retina, resulting in blurred vision. This is why people with diabetes usually also need prescription glasses because the sugar damages their eyes in the long term. Sign number 5, Red Gums Red or inflamed gums can indicate problems linked to high sugar consumption. Elevated blood sugar levels can hinder the absorption of vitamin C, a vital nutrient for gum health. Vitamin C is crucial for collagen synthesis and helps maintain the structural integrity of gum tissue. A deficiency can lead to weakened gums, making them more susceptible to inflammation and bleeding. The lack of vitamin C causes your gums to bleed more often and they become redder especially after brushing your teeth. Sign number 6, Hungry Between Meals When you eat, your body breaks down food into glucose, which enters your bloodstream. Insulin, produced by the pancreas, helps cells absorb this glucose for energy. But when you consume a lot of sugar and starch, your cells can become less sensitive to insulin. This condition is known as insulin resistance. As a result, your cells are left wanting nutrients, which leads to constant cravings and the need to snack frequently, and even after eating a large meal, you might still feel hungry. Sign number 7, Sweet Cravings Some people also get a very strong urge to eat sweet foods after they've consumed a meal. This is a result of insulin resistance where your cells are very burnt out and they aren't getting enough fuel. The problem is that eating that sugary snack only starts an endless cycle of cravings. Later in this video we'll teach you how to break the cycle and get your health back on track. Sign 8, A Puffy Face Consuming excess sugar or starches, particularly from processed foods, can lead to an increase in sodium and water retention in the body. This extra fluid can cause swelling, especially in the face and around the eyes. High sugar intake can trigger inflammation in the body, which can contribute to puffiness and make the skin appear bloated. Sugar can affect hormone levels, including those related to stress and inflammation, further contributing to facial swelling. 
Eating better can help your body to dump this extra fluid and bring down the swelling. Sign number 9, Chronic Sinus Infection Most of people also have a chronic sinus infection all year round, where your nose feels very congested and stuffy with pressure around your eyes and forehead, or you may get a constant drip of mucus down your throat that may cause a tickle cough. Sugars provide an energy source for harmful bacteria and fungi, which can thrive in the sinuses. This can lead to persistent infections, as these pathogens can become difficult to eliminate when nourished by sugar. Sign number 10, Constant Tiredness. People who've had high blood sugars or high insulin for a long time also tend to feel tired most of the day. You'll feel like no matter how much sleep you get you can never fully recharge. This is a problem that people suffer quite a lot, until they corrected their diet. The processed foods and the sugars are depleting your electrolytes and your vitamin B1. So all of your cells including your brain cells aren't able to make the energy that they need to. Other Symptoms There are also a few other signs that you may get if you've had high blood sugar or insulin for a longer period of time, like tingling in extremities, skin patches, anxiety, and a weakened immune system, leading to frequent colds. Now if you have a selection of the signs and symptoms seen in this video, it's very important to start taking steps to fix your diet and normalize your blood sugars levels to prevent long-term complications like type 2 diabetes. Testing for prediabetes While the A1C test is commonly used to assess diabetes risk, consider asking your doctor about the homeostatic model assessment of insulin resistance, HOMA-IR, for a more accurate measurement of insulin resistance. A HOMA-IR value that's above 1.9 usually indicates that there's prediabetes and the higher the number, the more severe the problem. The good news, however, is that whatever the case, you can lower this number and get much healthier by correcting your diet. Dietary Adjustments To improve health and stabilize blood sugar, reduce intake of highly processed foods, like bread, whether it be whole grain or white, biscuits, pastries, cakes, sweets, pasta, fruit juices, soda drinks, etc. These foods cause your blood sugar to spike. Replace them with lean proteins and healthy fats. A focus on whole foods can lead to improved energy levels and reduced cravings. How to normalize blood sugar. Morning lemon water. Start your day with a glass of lemon water by mixing 12 ounces of water with 1 8 the teaspoon of Celtic salt and the juice of one whole lemon. This simple combination helps your liver to process stored sugars, and may help improve insulin sensitivity and slow the absorption of sugars into the bloodstream, potentially preventing spikes in blood sugar levels after meals. Intermittent Fasting do intermittent fasting by eating all of your daily calories within an 8-hour window and drinking only water outside of this period. Fasting encourages the body to switch from using glucose as its primary fuel source to burning fat, which can help stabilize blood sugar levels. By giving your body extended periods without food, insulin levels drop, which allows cells to respond better to insulin and take up glucose from the bloodstream more effectively. Vegetable Fiber Try to load up your plate with leafy greens, fresh herbs and some berries to boost soluble fiber intake. This slow sugar absorption helps to maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. Sleep and Stress Management Make sure to get 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night, as inadequate sleep and elevated stress can increase cortisol levels. High cortisol is a hormone that raises blood sugar and makes your cells less responsive to insulin. To manage stress, consider practices like meditation, deep breathing exercises, hiking, or therapy to help keep your cortisol levels balanced. Anti-diabetic spices we recommend using traditional spices that enhance insulin sensitivity, such as turmeric, cinnamon, ginger, 
fenugreek, and garlic. These spices not only have anti-inflammatory effects but also assist in regulating blood sugar levels when incorporated into your meals regularly. Berberine If you are dealing with significant blood sugar problems from prediabetes or diabetes, you might want to consider taking 500 mg of berberine hydrochloride, HCL, three times daily. This herbal supplement functions similarly to the diabetes medication metformin but does not have the associated side effects. If you find this information helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.